Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in this interaction, we will find out the toggle positions for a four bar mechanism. <laughs> Basically, the Gresh non Gresh of four bar mechanism, which is triple rocker as well, will be considered here. So, in four bar mechanisms, the non Gresh of means when no link, no link is capable of uh, making a full revolution. So, all the three links which are moving are move to and fro and don't make a complete revolution and now we have to find out uh, which are the how to calculate the toggle position for our mechanism where the mechanism is jammed or stopped so if we have to find the toggle positions of a four bar mechanism it means that we have to calculate the theta 2 the value of the angle of the input link at which the mechanism is jammed or it is unable to move so in this example we have already one four bar mechanism which is non crash off uh, and it, it is in such a way that if you move the link number two which is a here the mechanism will stop moving after uh, some motion and this type of mechanism in which no link can com make complete revolution is known as non crash of triple rocker so in order to calculate the toggle positions to find out the toggle positions uh, we have made some additional line here and the diagonal of this quadrilateral this quadrilateral is shown by o2 a b o4 we have introduced one line H and the procedure is that we will make these two triangles and we will apply the law of cosines to find the value of H for both triangles. Then we will equate the value of H and then, and then we will try to find the theta 2 for a given mu which is the minimum transmission angle. So starting with from the law of cosines if we consider the first triangle which is the triangle uh, of uh, uh, this one triangle a b uh, a o4 o2 this triangle in this triangle the law of cosines says that the h square should be equal to the a square plus d square where the known angle which we have here is theta 2 so cos of that theta 2 okay so cos of that theta 2 is here h square is here and this is the square of the sum uh, sum of the square of two lengths <clears throat> and then minus two times of the product of others multiplied by the cos so this is basically the law of cosines similarly we have to use the law of cosines for the other triangle so in this triangle if we try to see this is triangle a b o4 in this triangle we are using law of cosines for the angle of mu and this angle mu will be eventually the uh, minimum uh, transmission angle or for which the toggle position will be calculated so if i write the equation for this uh, it will be h square again the same diagonal and these two lengths they will be squared and summed b square plus c square and then minus two times of the product of these b and c okay and multiplied by the cos of the included angle here we have also introduced four these angles we have i've just named as alpha beta gamma and delta so apparently they don't have any function but just to mention all the organs of the triangles we have shown here and already we have the four lengths of the four bar a is the length number two b is the length number three c is the length of length number four and d is the length of length number uh, ground length length number one so we are already have all the four lengths we already have the mu 
uh, here for the toggle positions what should be the mu for the toggle positions we already know that mu for the uh, toggle positions will be equal to zero it is because uh, in the toggle positions the link number b uh, and c will come become collinear and when they will become collinear their angle will be this angle automatically will become 0 or 180 and when it is 180 we consider it as 0 but here and to find out the toggle positions we will not consider the 180 value as 0 we will not take the acute value but we will take it so we will not ignore it and we will be considering these two values of uh, mu theta and 180 degree both okay so if we try to equate it now and both equations of h square h square will be eliminated okay so now uh, we have to find this equation from this equation we will calculate the theta 2 for which this mechanism will be jammed or or it will be in toggle position so clearly when uh, the toggle position will be toggle this mu will be either 0 or it will be 180 so it will the cost of this will be a plus 1 and minus 1 so we will be having two values out of this equation and for these two values uh, we will be calculating the uh, theta 2 so for sure we will have two values of theta 2 here and we have to uh, look for uh, that case in this plus minus which will produce an argument for the uh, cosine inverse function which lies between plus minus and plus uh, plus and minus one so it means zero or 180 degree so this will be the sub final position if we arrange all the uh, link lengths here so a d b c are the four link lengths a d is again the link length so all these are the link lengths and this plus minus is coming here because of this cos mu so plus is coming for uh, cos mu will be calculated as 1 when we are using theta 0 and 1 minus 1 when that they are using theta 180 so we will have to select one value of this theta 2 and if I consider the same uh, figure shown as toggle and I draw uh, four quadrants here four quadrants here so this position will be either in the first quadrant or second quadrant so whatever value we get from this here we have to take one value from it so it will be between uh, 0 to 180 okay so for this it will be plus 1 for this it will be minus 1 and when we have calculated this uh, first toggle position there have to be another toggle position for the same four bar mechanism which will be a mirror uh, image for the uh, mechanism so if for example this is the first toggle position the second one will be this one so in this way we can calculate the uh, toggle positions for a four bar non greshoff triple mechanism i hope you understand uh, understood you, are, you understood it well so if you have any other confusions or questions you can ask me and i will try to answer you in the comments